Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few updates from Unify Network, Unify Talk, and Unify Access. These aren't huge updates, but they do bring some new features and they do bring some things back. So what we're going to start with, we'll do Unify Network Application 74.162. So the biggest thing that this network upgrade brings back is payment options for our captive portal or our hotspot. They took those away and only allowed Stripe. So now if we go and we create a Wi-Fi network, I'll call it guest, put a password of test1234, and then we'll just select the network of guests. And then we scroll down to manual and then do hotspot. It says we have applied your hotspot portal to this Wi-Fi name. By default, portal guests will be isolated from other guests and the network resources. And then I'm gonna add the Wi-Fi network. Now after doing that, on the left-hand side, we could click on the hotspot manager. From here, we could click on landing page and you can see that I've just put my logo in here, but we want to go over to authentication. Under authentication, we want to click on payments. And then here we have our Stripe, but we also have PayPal, QuickPay, we have Merchant Warrior, we have IP Pay, and we have Authorize. So they have added that back, but there is a note under this release. The note does say payment methods may not work correctly. If you're updating from 74.156, please restore a backup from 7.3 or older. And they're working on improving payment options in the future releases. So if Hotspot Manager is something that you use, this is great news that we have other payment options. Another thing they've done in this release is they've adjusted the threshold for packet loss detection in TXRX notifications. So you may have seen quite a few of these notifications in your network. For this one, it says the US aggregation number six is experiencing transmission and reception errors. This may indicate a problem with port or cabling. Now they've changed the threshold. You shouldn't get as many of these alerts. What I would like to see on the switch port level is a counter of the errors going up and down. That would indicate to me that it is a physical issue. Next up is Unify Access Application 1.6.8. And the only thing that we're going to look in here is the DPS switch or the door position switch. So now it shows on the dashboard of Unify Access. If that door position switch is open, it will say unauthorized access. I have a pair of door contacts connected to the DPS switch on the Unify Access Hub. Let's pull them apart without swiping in with their badge and see if the dashboard actually shows the unauthorized access. And here's the dashboard of Unify Access and where we're gonna see this unauthorized access is under locations and then our door. Currently the door is locked, but if I pull those magnets apart, they should show unauthorized access. The magnets are now apart and we could see that it says unauthorized opening. The one thing I don't know here is how we clear that error. I've been trying to clear it and there seems to be no way. It also takes about 15 seconds before that shows up. It would be nice if this was done in real time. And the last thing we're going to look at is our Unify Talk updates. And this is for the Touch Phone and the Touch Max. It's for 1.10.0. The biggest improvement for this, it adds Unify Access to the phone. So if somebody rings the Unify Access Reader, you're going to be able to open that door right from your Unify Talk phone, which is amazing. Okay, so this is my touch phone and you can now see that their Unify Access application is built into it. But before we go take a look at that, we can change the themes on this phone. So we could either make it dark mode or we could make it light mode. So if we click on settings, that will bring us into the options. Now this may be a little hard to see, but under settings, we have a display option. So we'll need to click on that. And under the display, we have our theme option. And currently it's set to light mode, but let's switch it over to dark mode. And that dark mode is a lot easier on the eye. So now let's get into Unify Access. To get into Unify Access, we need to click the two squares at the bottom, and then we need to click on the Access application. Now for the Unify Access, we need to log in with our single sign-on, or you could find local IP. I'm gonna sign on with my SSO. We're now into Unify Access, and we could see my pro reader at the top, and you could see an image of me sitting. If we click on the reader, you could see the live view and then you could see the different options. We have speaker off, we have muted, and then we have unlock. Let's click unlock. Now that unlocks the door for us remotely. Now from the reader, I'm gonna hit this swipe to call and it will ring on the phone. There may be a bit of feedback as both microphones are close to each other. So let's swipe to call. And we could see that going on the phone and I'm gonna answer it. We'll hear some feedback. Now we're gonna hang up and I did decline that call because we were getting a bit of feedback, but you could see how easy that is to do. That's gonna be it for this update video. My favorite feature out of all of this is the Unify Talk where we have access built into it now. You used to only be able to do this with UID 
and that could be a paid service. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.